Hey YouTubers, Red Razor 56 here. A um, couple of questions I've had guys ask about what it would do about the possibility of somebody thieving a seat when you're, uh, you know, hauling on an open trailer. And there really is no way to lock the seats in. Of course, any of you guys that bought aftermarket seats know what a pain it is to get them out of there. But this thieving thing has really turned into be quite an ordeal here lately. Uh, these guys will steal anything they can, and you can only do so much if you're not lucky enough to have an enclosed trailer. But even on a short trip, and uh, you guys have stopped at the truck stop or something, and uh, everybody goes inside to wash up and buy a snack or something, these guys are really getting slick. They know the whole, theory, uh, the, the, the whole theory about getting seats out, throwing them on Craigslist or something. They don't care. You know, when you steal something... It don't matter. You don't have nothing invested in it. So if they get ten bucks a piece out of your seats, you're good to go. Plus, they're good to go. Not you. You're you're out of the water. But uh, this little trick right here, I I had this a long time ago, and unfortunately, I used the pipe for something else. So for today, I'm just demonstrating with a with a two by four. And if you slide that two by four underneath your rails, and you go all the way across your seats, and you come out far enough where and I'm just going to use something today. I'm just going to use an eye bolt here and give you an idea. If you used a piece of pipe, uh, even if it's just muffler pipe, remember, if these guys want your stuff, they're going to take your stuff. But if you want to make something that gives you a little bit of peace of mind for two reasons. One, it keeps them from stealing your seat. Number two, it sort of keeps them from stealing your razor, unless they've come equipped with bolt cutters and pliers and crescent wrenches or cutting torch or whatever and guys I'm here to tell you I was in the security business for 16 years these guys will steal the Lord off the cross and they'll come back for the nails if they think they can get away with it so whatever you have to do a piece of pipe and if you took an eye bolt like this and you came up through your pipe and now this piece here whatever pipe you use or, or or you know square tubing something like that that needs to extend over just about to the edge of the rail on whatever trailer you're using and then you can put a piece of chain on this and go down and chain it with padlocks onto your to the rail of your trailer and it's going to serve two purposes really one of the first purpose is trying to slow somebody down seat with this two by four here i can't even get my hand back in behind the seat over here i don't know if i got my camera yeah i can't, I can't get my hand back in there and if that thing was set up just right there's no way you're going to get your hand back in there to take the seat out um, number two thing it does is if you were to have a catastrophic rollover accident, God forbid, and, and you know we've seen it on the on the forums and the different websites and YouTube and, and everything. If your razor isn't secured, and I'm you know these little one inch wide straps that you use to hold down your little 400 cc quad, they're not strong enough for this razor. That razor goes over on its side. It's going to pop those straps like rubber bands, and now your razor is a missile going down the road and it's going to wreak more damage than you can imagine and it probably isn't going to do it any good if it rolls over on its side on the trailer you know you're going to wear your roll bar out or something but your your razor may survive a catastrophic rollover god forbid that would ever happen but you know why take a chance we got all this safety gear on here you know we got the big three inch straps and we've got the helmets and we've got all kind of padding in here you know we've got the side of our cage padded uh, with this foam foam rubber pad. I've got one here and I've got one over there on that side for the shoulders. You start running some of these Rocky Mountain trails and they'll beat you to death. So we've gone to all that trouble. Why not get that razor secured on the trailer? It, and this can be applied to just about any machine. And I know if you have doors, it's probably out of the question that it can be done. But uh, just, a, just a little idea on a way to secure the seats in your razor to keep them from being ripped off while you're in the truck stop or in the motel or something like that. Uh, put your head together, ask a friend to come over, somebody's got a welder. You can have something welded up in about, I I'm going to say less than an hour. You can have something welded up, throw a couple of feet of chain on there, specific to the trailer that you're carrying it on, and of course the height of your suspension. Figure out a way to padlock the thing together so you can still get it apart and you've served two purposes, an anti-theft device for the seats and the razor, and also a little bit of an extra safety device if the machine were to tip off the trailer for some reason. Red Razor 56 here, saying live to ride another day.